From the land down under, with the rock at its center, comes the little Aussie watchman. Until law today, our Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull shows his true colours. The colours are those of the gay rainbow. On Saturday, Malcolm attended Sydney's Gay Pride Mardi Gras, showing his support not only for the parade of promiscuity and open rebellion against God, but also telegraphing by his very presence that he will be for gay marriage. The only thing that is holding him back for the time being are his promises to fellow politicians. How long that will last will be anyone's guess in Australian politics. Prime Ministers seem to forget their promises not long after the beginning of their term. Those gay colours are those of a perverted rainbow. The gay rainbow consists of six colours. Six, in turn, represents the number of man. They represent man's wish to choose what is good and what is evil. They represent man's willingness to forget his creator and choose what he believes to be correct. It is a perverted representation of God's true rainbow, which is seven colours. Choosing a rainbow is also a tacit, in-your-face gesture to Almighty God. The original rainbow was given by God as a remembrance of God's judgment on the pre-flood world, a world which was full of perverted sexuality and open rebellion against God. Luke 17, 27 also suggests that there was gay marriage in the pre-flood world. It says, They ate, they drank, they married wives, and they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. This suggests that there are two different types of marriage, one in which they married wives and one in which they married each other. They were given in marriage. The gay rainbow, therefore, says that despite God's judgment on promiscuity outside God's law, they will openly use the marker of that judgment, the rainbow, as a celebration of the same lifestyle that led to judgment in the first place. It is an epic laugh in your face by Satan against the God that rejected him. Once again, however, worldwide devastating judgment will fall, and also for the same reasons. Open public humiliation of God's law, open disobedience against that creator, and legalization of that which is detestable. If man's number, six, reminds us of the tree of good and evil, the tree which man turns in order to say that man has the knowledge to choose what is right and wrong, then seven, which is God's perfect number, reminds us of the tree of life. It is in the tree of life that we trust that God is our provision for all knowledge, and we need to trust that he has our best interests in heart in choosing for us what is right and what is wrong. By choosing man, Malcolm Turnbull is leading Australia into the abyss of judgment. He, of course, is not the only leader to do this. However, no other Prime Minister has dared defy God in attending the Mardi Gras. May the Lord protect us.